we're sure you remember this calculator, the TI-84, or 83, depending on when you were in school. You might have fond memories playing games while you were supposed to be paying attention in class, or it might even give you nightmares. You probably also remember the cost. In the era of smartphones and the internet, do we really need to keep spending around $100 for a graphing calculator? The same one that's been around since 2004, when Nokia had the best-selling phone and Usher was at the top of the charts. Yeah, 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 yeah. There are other brands, but Texas Instruments has always been the industry leader. That's starting to change. Smarter Balanced, which administers school proficiency tests in 15 states, is incorporating a digital calculator from the startup Desmos into its test this spring. Students will be able to use the online product for free. Oh, I loved my TI-83. It's actually how I learned how to program. Um, but what's incredible is that the exact same device hasn't changed in cost or quality in the 20 years since. Spending over $100 on a graphing calculator is really prohibitive for a lot of students. Other gadgets have changed tremendously in the last 13 years. But the TI graphing calculator has basically stayed the same. So why haven't we moved on? And why does it still cost the same? TI told CNN that their calculators are a one-time investment in a student's future without the distractions of internet-capable devices. But that one-time investment might be too much for many students of lower-income families to bear. Now, those students may be able to power off their bulky graphing calculators for good. That is, until they take the SATs.